Welcome back viewers. In this video we are going to work on add product form. We will install a python library wt form. It is easy to validate forms. So before the going to on work, let's install wt form. For the wt form, we have to activate our virtual environment. Make sure that the libraries will be installed only for this project. So let's start cd to our project desktop then slash the name will be my shop here so if you do the ls you see this is the my vanv we have to activate this one we just type here source the name of that folder then here bin then activate so head click you see it will remind it reps with the parenthesis that means it's already activated now we will install that pip install flask dash wtf and you see here the requirement already satisfied i have already installed here so you can install this one with pip let's open vs code and start the job i will open with this one with code so what we have to do now here i will come in the product and the inside product we have already root models and i will get one another file of python and name will be forms dot py now inside the form from flask wtf dot file import file allowed and file field and then file required these three are enough for the for the image and these are for just for the image and here from wt forms here we will import here we will import our other all fields like uh, integer field then string field like uh, boolean field if you have something there boolean fields text area field validators for the validation and uh, declare as one class the class will be add pro add products here i will pass that form and uh, we have to import that form also form and now here we will write everything from here this will be first we will write here product name and this will be equal to string field and string field inside here i will give the label name and i will just simply put here validator and um, this will be dot data required and we will put here the parenthesis and then second will be price and for the price will uh, do the same this will be like a integer field and here the same we make the here we will give the label of price then validator validator dot data required and then we have here stock equal to this will be also integer and uh, here we will give this level of stock then also this is required and i will give the discount here discount if you want your shop has some discount this will be also integer field and here we will give that discount and uh, this doesn't need any validator it could be empty or if you wish you can give them default value we are like default equal to zero and uh, here description and this will be equal to text area field and here we will give it of description description and with validator we make this one also 
required. This why this is red. No, this should be form like this. Not from this is form. So my bed. And now we have these things. Then here we will make also colors. We will make also text area field colors. And uh, this one we make also validator. Yeah, this validator should be like this. And here I will make that validator here. Validator dot and data required. And now we will just put now image. I will give this the name of image one. And this will be equal to that file field. And here, if you wish, you can give the label to your image, like image one. And here will be validator, val, validator equal to, and this will be equal to file required and with parenthesis then here we will make that file allowed and what kind of file we will allow here and that will be jpg but that will be jpg and then will be png and gif jpeg and here we will just write image only please you can give here any message you want so I just give this message and I will copy this image paste it two more time and just change the name here three and this will be two and three and uh, here what's this okay this should be as a array we should type inside the array like this this should be wrapped in array and this will be inside that array and I will copy these all from here and paste it here and also paste this one here still we have this one what is that invalid syntax okay we don't need here this so this is the problem okay. so now you can see this is gone now let's go to in the route and the route of product route and here first of all we have to import that class we made just now from form import add products and then now here we will go down app dot route and the inside the route route I will make this add product add product and here will be add product and we will make them here methods equal to and here will be post and and get both it should be inside this will not be capital and we'll make small define and add product and here will be return a render template and here we will render the template we will make later that will be inside the product uh, products and then we will make here the add product dot html and here we will give us the title and title equal to add product page okay now we are almost done from here just now we will import that form equal to add products and here we will pass that request dot form and then we give this form equal to form and this variable and we are done from here now what I have to do here I will come to here template then here I will create new file 
that will be add product as this name product dot html so first of all i will extend that layout then double quotation then percentage curly brackets then percentage then extends extends and here we will write layout dot html and then here we will do that block content that percentage then block content and here i will copy and paste it down here end block content here i will include that message something here include underscore message dot html and this is the message and here we give the e then now bootstrap and here i will write here container and and here i will give a call call underscore md2 i will make them three and i will make this one eight now and do everything inside this it now i will make here as to dot text dash center will be bg dash info and p minus two and here i will make them add add a product and then here I will include this form helper this one and make this HTML of this one I just include this form helper now I will make this form helper to come here from form helper dot HTML render fields and then here I will make that form method will be equal to post and here I will make them this post will be bigger than ink type multi-part data form i have somewhere these fields i just don't want to waste your time to the typing you can see them here and you see and this is the render field name form.name and this is the form.price and here is just the class here you can add the bootstrap class and these all are here like this and you can see this field do for the image and for the image i will do this one i have also snapped for the image into here for the image so you can see these all are things here i think this one we don't need now if we need in future i will do it and now everything is fine just we will go and test see go to in run then debug start debug and debug now program is running let's see localhost 5000 and go to just add product we have nothing here add a product page here we have some problem maybe this the problem is in block content content this should be content with t sorry there's now now i hope everything will work just refresh and now go to here okay this project has no color make this unlike and then everything is working fine and why it is in other side i think i have to make one row here and uh, this should be all uh, uh, row i will close this row just here let's see okay now you can see this is your add product form that's all for this video thank you very much see you in next video take care bye bye